Welcome to Accents in Excel and in this video I will answer the question what is range lookup in VLOOKUP function in Excel. So you might have a situation you probably already use the VLOOKUP quite often however in this situation we will be needing the range lookup of, uh, for, for our calculation and let me explain here right now what's going on and then I will explain also what range lookup is. So you can see here we have our test scores and the test score of 60 equals the grade of D. So we, what we want to do is we want to get the grades. However, if someone hits 60, it should be grade D. If someone hits 61, it also should be grade D and up to 69. So this here is already creates a range lookup situation except that we have here the values that are ranging and we want to get the value. So if everything above 96 equals A+. plus. So let's start and do that with our VLOOKUP function. First of all, I have an equal VLOOKUP, open parentheses, and once we are here, you get the formula helper or the Excel helper. So I will just click here so we get the formula builder. So we have our range lookup or our lookup value. So question number one, what is the lookup value? In this case, it is the test score. Question number two, the table array, that is this one here, because here we get the values. So we have the values of them. Finally here, where is the column index number? Number two. And, and here now, to answer the question, range lookup. You can see range lookup, there are two ways to do it. You can type in here, uh, one. For making it true or you can type in true then you have to put it in this you say true but there's also another option is you can say zero for false so what is the difference exactly first of all if we do true then meaning that the VLOOKUP will make everything in range lookup so enter and let me show you exactly how it works so you can see here we get these values here and if I drag them right now it's still not frozen so you can see you get errors. So I'm going to freeze them. Assuming that you already know these kind of things, I just type in here F4 and F4, enter and expand them. So right now, you can see that everything from zero up to 59, yes, if I do here 59, is a range. And this range becomes grade F. And this is because the formula is set on range lookup. If we would change this formula instead of range true we'll say range false so we put in a zero enter then you get an error and the reason why you get the error is not because the formula is incorrect it will say wait a minute because it will search for 61 and it must search the 61 in here and says i cannot find it so if i would make here a new item for example in this one i'll make 61 then it becomes a fixed or exact match and you can see because of this Everything else that was F before becomes not available. And to fix that, of course, you have to put in for every single one. However, not necessary because you have this range. This is a range lookup. And so what you want to do is you want Excel to be intelligent enough to understand that we are having a ranging situation here. So let's see if this all works. You can see here now. All right. So you can see here what's going on here, of course, why this is now not showing, because we don't have a value starting at this range. Putting a range of zero will fix the issue. So this is a range lookup where every value is in certain range, and once you hit a new bracket, basically, then you go to the new bracket, you get another grade or another value that you want to show. And that's how range lookup works. So if you have any questions regarding to this, just post them in the comments. and I have also a wonderful surprise for you, a wonderful Excel course for free. Just click on the link below and you'll go directly to there so you can improve your Excel skills as well. 